بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس دس از ویڈیو لیکچر آف ویک ون لیکچر ون پارٹ ٹو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ویری فسٹ ٹاپک آف ویب ٹیکنالوجیز دیٹ از انٹروڈکشن ٹو ویب ایپلیکیشنس objectives of uh, this video lectures are first of all we will define that what is a web application the basic definition of web application then we will discuss how to use a web application or how to access a web application next we will discuss about browser then url any form resource locator and then after that we will discuss how web application works and at the end we will discuss advantages and disadvantages of web applications The first definition of web application is as given the term web application refers to a software system that provides a user interface through a web browser or an application which we can access through a web browser example of web application includes blogs online shopping systems search engines Uh, like uh, Google, OLX, Daraz and so on. Second definition of web application is a web application or web app is a software program that runs on a web server. So by simply we can say that a web app is a app that runs on a web server. Unlike traditional desktop applications, which are launched by your operating system web app must be accessed through a web browser so we can say that to access a web application we need a web browser it didn't launch on our local operating system that is installed on our computer system so web application runs on web server simply we can say that third definition that is also very simple a web application is an app like any other app with the advantage that it's stored on the internet and can be executed on any browser so we can say that an application that's stored on an internet and an application which can be executed on browsers on any browsers that is called web application all of web application is daraz.pk as you can see that in the video this is a, a simple a web application an online web app second example is olx.com.pk you can view it as shown on the screen the next thing we are going to discuss that is how to access a web application so there are, so there are simple uh, steps that are involved to access a web application first step is open the web browser any browser that is installed on your computer system suppose on your computer system you have installed google chrome or mozilla firefox or opera whatever the browser you are using open it then enter the web address in the address bar like uh, www.daraz.com then the browser fetch data from the server and it will take time to fetch data and the fourth step is the browser display the web page is shown on the screen the web page will be displayed on your screen 
next topic is web browser and what is a web browser a web browser is basically a software that is used to access the internet if you want to access resources on the internet you need a web browser a web browser lets you visit websites and do activities within them like login view multimedia link from one site to another visit one page from another print send and receive email among many other activities so if you want to access resource resources on the internet you need to install a web browser and through web browser you can access websites you can visit websites you can log into the websites you can uh, visit um, one page from another page you can send receive email and all these activities uh, could be done on a web browser so we have different types of web browser example of web browsers are internet explorer google chrome opera mozilla firefox all these are examples of web browser so this is the very basic definition of a web browser that what is a web browser and why we use a web browser url url is also an important concept to know uh, url is basically an uh, abbreviation of a uniform resource locator otherwise known as a universal resource locator it is the address of the uh, resource on the internet and the protocol used to access it is url is basically the address of the resource which you want to access on the internet through browser and you need a protocol uh, to access it a url identifies both the server and the resource also informally called as web address you can also call a url as a web address and the purpose of url is to find the resource on the internet look at the example on the screen that uh, a url has four uh, different components first one is protocol second is host name third is path and fourth one is query string first of all you should know what is a protocol protocol are basically a set of rules used to communicate between electronic devices so here protocol it defines the mode rules of communication between client and server for the request host name it identifies the server which will serve the request host name identify the server that to which server you want to request it contains the domain name domain name is could be any name like uh, flipart.com or uh, daraz.com or olx.pk whatever uh, domain name uh, could be any in this case uh, we have a domain name flipart.com path path basically defines the resource which is being requested suppose we are going to request book on the flipart.com so it typically points to a web page in this case list of books we want the list of books so that is a path query string mean uh, it contains additional parameters that is typically used to add more context to the same path in this case books that we are about uh, web app suppose we want uh, the path that defines the resource to be requested and in that particular path the additional parameters that we want a book of web application so query string basically defines that how a web application works so there are four basic steps that how a web application works step 1 the user accesses a web application via a web browser or mobile application user can access web application through a web browser or a mobile application triggering a request to the web server over the internet so be, be, uh, basically user trigger a request to the web server on the internet 
through web browser or mobile application that is a step one second step is the web server forwards the request to the web application server that's web server forward that application to that particular web application server web application server performs the requested task that what types of uh, tasks the user want such as querying the database or processing the data it uh, query the database it process the data and then generates the result that is basic functionality of the web application server and that generate the result of the requested data the web application in third step the web application server sends the results back to the web server and in fourth step the web server deliver the requested information to the client desktop mobile device tablet etc and the information appears on the user's display uh, you you could see this in figure <coughs> on the screen look at the figure on the screen the client requested a resource on internet from the web server the web server passes it to the web application uh, web application server it is a server where the actual uh, execution takes place and if it requires data from the database server it will get it from the dat dat um, database server and send it back to the web server and the web server will provide that data to the client web application are first advantage is require no disk space because it is not stored locally on our local system because it's not a desktop application it is a web application so that's why it's stored on the server so we don't need a uh, disk space on our local systems it reduce a business cost because you can access this application uh, from anywhere uh, by using an internet so you don't need uh, special arrangements uh, special systems for this particular application only the thing you need is a web browser and an internet connection then you can access a uh, web application so that's why it reduces the business costs third advantage that is uh, centralized data is secure and easy to backup as data is uh, stored on a centralized location and if the data is on centralized location it is very easy to secure it security of data is easy जब भी आप डेटा को सेंट्रलाइज लोकेशन पे स्टोर करते हैं तो उसकी सिक्योरिटी आसान हो जाती है और उसका बैकअप लेना भी आसान होता है फोर्थ एडवांटेज इज प्रोवाइड क्रॉस प्लेटफॉर्म कंपेटेबिलिटी माई क्रॉस प्लेटफॉर्म कंपेटेबिलिटी वी मीन दैट वी डोंट नीड स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर और हार्डवेयर टू बी इंस्टॉल फॉर एक्सेसिंग अ वेब एप्लीकेशन if you have any type of operating system and web browser and if you have any type of hardware uh, you can access a web application and there is no special arrangement uh, of the software and hardware for accessing a web application disadvantages of web application uh, first disadvantage is slower and runs over internet they are slow because uh, if the internet connection uh, that is provided by an isp it is slow so the application uh, will be executed slow it depends upon the server as well so that's why these application are slower as they runs on the internet second its advantage is requires compatible web browser so if a web browser is compatible with the web application so you can access that particular web application and if the web browser is not compatible with that particular web application so you can't view the content of that particular web application so this is a disadvantage that you need a compatible web browser uh, for a particular web application third disadvantage is it takes longer to develop is more complex web applications sometimes they are more complex like e-commerce like online banking system businesses um, these web applications are more complex than simple one so that's why uh, they required a lot of time to be developed fourth disadvantage is depends on server delivering the application so if the server is down so you can't access that particular web application so it depends upon the server 
if the server is active and it is working properly and is fast so you can access the web application fast and on time and if the server is not working properly and if the server is down so you can't access that particular web application.